We are following some breaking news in Westland. A man found dead inside his apartment, possibly murdered. Police responded to the Skygate Apartments off Yale, just off of Wayne Road. That was earlier this evening. Now, these are live pictures from the scene. Jermont Terry is there. Jermont, do police have anybody in custody? Steve, Westland police telling me that they do have one man in custody down at the police station who is considered a person of interest. Neighbors saw that man getting arrested in his parking lot this morning. But right now, we still don't know why and how this individual died. Family members of the victim were emotional. They arrived to the Skygate Apartments in Westland to learn police are here because of their loved one. Someone found a 25-year-old man dead inside his second-floor apartment. I got a phone call about 11. Police are in your building. Go outside and swarming. About seven or eight cop cars. Neighbors watch as police methodically investigated the circumstances of the death inside the eight-story building. Westland PD will not say how the man died, but I've learned there was no forced entry into the apartment, leaving police to wonder if the victim knew his attacker and neighbors concerned about their own security. Somebody may have let someone in unauthorized. The secure building isn't that secure. Police are treating this death as suspicious, but not calling in the murder just yet. We saw someone get taken into custody, handcuffed and taken away. We just don't know why. It's unclear if the person in custody is a witness or suspect, but Westland police insisting there is no threat to the community. But until police release all the facts, neighbors are uneasy. We definitely need a lot of answers. If you look around the parking lot, you'll see many people from the building that are concerned. Now, they do have surveillance cameras in and around this entire apartment complex. I'm told that Westland police are, are, are working to try to get that video. They don't have it quite yet, and hopefully that will shed some light on potentially what happened right before things got started. Reporting live in Westland, I'm Jermont Terry, Local 4.